Okay, we've got another one of these very, very short, sharp videos for GCSE Foundation. This is index laws, otherwise known as power laws. And there's just like loads of examples here that on this kind of thing you can see here. I'm going to take you through all of them. You can understand how they work. And then that's power laws sorted. So first of all, if you've got two things that have the same base, so the base is the big number, um, but powers and then you're multiplying them, you're basically adding the little numbers, which we call those, um, what do you, what would you call them, indexes? So two to the four times two to the three is just two times two times two times two times two times two times two. How many twos is that? Seven. So it's two to the seven. How can you remember that quickly? Just add the powers together. Similarly with division, you're subtracting. Two to the five divided by two to the three is two to the five minus three, which is two to the two. And you can see that it was written as a fraction there to the right of it. All those twos would cancel, and how many twos would you have left? You'd have two at the top left and none at the bottom, so two to the two. It works for letters the same way. A to the six times A to the two is A to the eight. N to the five divided by N to the two is N to the three. So, is there anything unusual? Anything that you, you might not kind of use the same pattern with? And yes, anything with a bracket, you just multiply the powers. If you imagine three squared, actually probably the more interesting one is N to the six times N, N to the six all squared. That's literally n to the 6 times n to the 6, and 6 add 6 is 12. So the quick way, you could just multiply what's inside the bracket and what's outside the bracket in terms of the power. Okay, hope that makes sense. And that's index laws. Bye.